YouTube! Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Full of Fishing channel, bringing you the most cringe-worthy intro on the YouTube platform. Once again, I'm just messing. Today <laughs> is May 1st, 2019. It is going to be my outing number 67 of this year. And let me tell you something, today's fishing session is going to be very improvised, all right? I wasn't really planning on shooting a YouTube video. I just came out here to kind of explore and chill for the day. And then I thought, since I'm here at the border of the New Jersey Pine Barrens and I'm going to explore it anyways, why not shoot a YouTube video, right? So today is going to be one of those videos that it may turn out to be real, real good. Meaning that we're going to explore three, four different spots and we're going to catch some different species of fish. Or today may turn out to be one of those fishing sessions that I am going to explore a few places and not a lot of cool things are going to show up. I guess you guys will have to stay tuned with me and I'm going to tie on some worms right now, explore some different places, and just see if some endemic species to the Pine Barrens actually shows up in this video or not. I guess I get bonus points today for not being prepared for this fishing session. I don't have anything with me. I don't have floats. I only got sinkers, hooks, and worms. So the primary pattern for the day is going to be a drop shotting setup, pretty much a dropper loop rig with just baby night crawlers. And listen, I'll be happy. <laughs> I'll be happy with whatever comes up. Oh, we got a hit. We got a little hit right over here. Bro, took, took a huge chunk of my night crawler. Oh no, now we have to go catch it for sure. Uh, this fish tank, this fish tank is playing with me. Got another tap. Dude, I'm getting hits right over here. What is this? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah! What is it? Oh no. You <laughs> oh boy, it's just little bluegill. Yeah, it's a, it's a little bluegill, the Lepomis macrocerus. First species of the day here at the pond. Man, since this pond's got Pine Barrens water, I was really expecting anything, something different. I kind of have a love-hate relationship with this particular species of fish. As you guys can see it, right, just a little tiny bluegill, the Lepomis. Macrocerus, you can kind of notice, I hope you can, that the water here is kind of yellowish, right? Like pea colored. That's because this is a kind of Pine Barrens aquatic environment, which makes the water this color right here. The water is actually kind of kind of dark, which makes the coloration of the fish extra cool in this type of uh, environment. I'm just going to release this guy over here. Don't worry, it is all connected over here. This was our first species of the day. I'm gonna get a new water sample, kind of clean my box a little bit. There we go, huh? Look at that, water kind of yellowish, right? All right, let's see what else is around. Got a hit, very nice. Well, nicer than the previous one. Oh yeah. There are some nice bluegill here, holy cow! Now you see how I told you guys that this water makes the colors more vivid? Check the colors on this fella right here, huh? look at that. I mean, it has parasites on it, but very, very beautiful. I'll take a shot at this one. It is actually very cool, isn't it? Makes the colors on the bluegill so much darker than it's supposed to be. Kind of beautiful in its own sense. All right, there it goes. Back it goes. Hopefully there are some other species around here though. Oh my goodness, bro. I didn't even feel the bite. That's a nice bluegill. Look at the colors on this bluegill, holy cow. 
yeah i mean it is a blast catching this bluegill okay beautiful panfish you guys can see super healthy right vivid colors look at that breast but as i said I, i'm looking for something different so i think it is about time to leave spot one and really just go to spot number two well definitely a beautiful place if i wanted to eat some bluegill i would definitely come back here and harvest some bluegill i fished this place i have fished this place a few times before never saw any micros i just thought i would give it a shot for a few a few minutes caught a bunch of bluegill let's walk to the second spot now oh yeah i see it i see from over here wow it is pretty covered in vegetation but look at this oh yeah oh yeah look at this i mean overall it looks pretty shallow i think i just spooked a fish over there very muddy on the sides but i got my my muck boots with me it's a little creek pine barrens creek time to explore it oh my goodness got one oh man you have got to be kidding me our first fish from the little creek is a bluegill again this, this fish is just everywhere like i told you guys i got a love and hate relationship with this species right here go back where you belong son come on bro it can't be just all bluegill oh this is another bluegill no this is like the plague is this going to turn out to be a bluegill video and this is some pretty nice size bluegill too for a little creek like this okay ah uh, no hey no i'm a, i'm gonna go down there and check if there were some micros around look at that it's another bluegill it's a bigger bluegill i mean how many bluegill are in this little creek and more than that how are they able to survive in this little creek that is only a few inches deep i'm using a size a hook oh yeah yeah man look at this man dang bro it really saddens me to say this <laughs> but it's spot number two the most interesting thing that I found was the acid mine drainage, aka the yellow boy, right? Because seriously, fish wise, there's only bluegill and mud around here. This is quite a disappointment. Time to go to another spot. Oh man, I'm running out of time. It is 5 30 p.m. I've been following this little pine barrens creek over here trying to scout for some fish haven't seen anything yet and i kind of saw that there's actually a lake in that direction so you know what i'm gonna try to catch something else i'm gonna go to the end of the lake never been here before but i did see from over there you see you can see the lake all the way over there right so there's the lake right over here and there's a clear path yeah all right these are some uh freaky pine barren pine woods over here that is very weird stuff what's going on here oh hell no folks there's no way that this is natural right you tell me it's all in, in lines someone planted this before right this can't be just natural like that look at that it's all in lines well whatever we gotta walk and uh go to the lake oh yeah i see a little swamp on this side that's a big tree that fell over here back in the days and then on this side i actually see the lake that is actually pretty cool all right who knows maybe we're gonna have some luck 
over here, right? Oh, check it out, man. Huh? Someone, people just give it away, man. Someone did a fire here back in the days. Oh, look at that. There are cans on the side. So, I mean, people definitely been here before. Oh, man, you know, beer cans, cigarettes. All right. And this is, this is the end of it. Let's give a few casts and see what shows up. Yeah, for real. You could dump a body back here, man. And people would not know about that. Fish on. Oh yeah, on the spinner. Little bass. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Little bass just there waiting for food to pass. Chunky little largy. Ah, very nice, very nice. Best decision. I made the whole day, really. You know, putting a spinner on over here and just uh, trying to catch some fish. I kind of realized there is a swift current going from this side to this side. And then I thought, why not tie on the spinner, right? The EP series and see what is around. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Nice hit right over here. I don't know how big the fish is. I'm using four pound test. It's running to the side. Goodness gracious. Oh yeah, nice bass, nice bass. Oh, found a honey hole, found a honey hole. This is, guys, this is a nice bass. I mean, not nice, nice, but, woo, definitely chunkier than the last one, son. That's what I'm talking about. Dang, found a honey hole at the end of the road, literally at the end of the road. Let me tell you folks, all the stuff that I've been through today after catching bluegill after bluegill after bluegill I'm not so disappointed that I found this little honey hole over here, you see what I'm saying? That's a beautiful fish, it's not really, you know, ooh, pine barrens, endemic species but I'll be happy to catch a few of these, or maybe even bigger Like a little swift current right over here. Oh, I'm snagged. Oh no, it's fish on. I thought it was snagged. Bro. Oh my goodness gracious. A crappie, son. Ooh, a black crappie on the EP series. Wow, a spawning crappie. The Pomoxis Negro Macro. Yo, we found the honey hole. You see, exploring pays off oh, let's see oh, over here is good yeah not bad not bad little nice black crappie beautiful spawning colors right here got that gold blue hue on the back the pomoxis negro maculatus check that out now nah? all right well this one can go back doing its business There's one. Oh yeah. Spinner. Good old spinner. Yeah, look at that, huh? That's beautiful. Let it run a little bit. We're using light tackle. All right. Ah, little fella. Wow, look at that, huh? Really wanted it. Top of the mouth. Let me just do a quick unhook over here. We can put him back right away. There we go. All right, little guy. Got the bite marks on the side. That means that they are getting into spawning mode right now. Water temperature is getting close to 62. Oh no, oh great, good, get out of there. There's one. Oh yeah, easy now, easy, down, down, what is it, is it a bass, oh yeah, 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 it's a nice bass, okay, 
Easy now, easy. I was a little bit confused at the beginning. Oh, why I gotta run like that, huh? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna put you back anyway. Not bad, not bad. Fitting quite good. All right, a little one and a half, two pounder. All right, man, really liking that spinner, top of the mouth. This one was not going anywhere. All right, real nice, okay. All right, revive it a little bit, gone. My goodness, another crappie. There's a bunch of spawning black crappie right over here. This is fascinating. It's a beauty too. I love the colors on the black crappie when they're spawned. It is so vivid. Look at that, oh man, this is beautiful. All right, well, let me put it back right here so it can actually go back doing what it was doing. Say, I mean. Oh my goodness, there's one. There's one. What is it? Is it a bass? I think it's a bass. Yeah. It's a bass. Yeah. Nice. Chunky. My goodness, the way it bit, it was on top and below its mouth. That's crazy. I have to say, folks, as much as I hate to admit it, this video right here, is one of those uh, gentle reminders that one must never give up as cliche as it sounds whole day it was just bluegill after bluegill after bluegill now it's like bass found some nice crappie not bad at all let me tell you folks the action over here is so hot that I need to leave right now and they are still biting on the inline spinner. Truly fascinating. I think this video carries a crucial message to all of the anglers out there, right? And that is that exploring is something that is crucial and fundamental for our sport of fishing. I mean, just take this video for example. I started the day fishing an area that I was comfortable with. I was throwing night crawlers, whatever bites, right? Okay, a few bluegill came up. I was not satisfied. So I went out of my way. I explored a few creeks and brooks. And still, all I caught was bluegill. I was still not satisfied. So I went out and just when I was about to give up, I found this place right here where I, where I caught all this fish, right? And this would not have happened if I did not explore in this video okay so as i am about to leave right now i'm just gonna leave this with you for you to think about okay it is great when you fish and you are on top of the fishing reports you can go on the internet and you can read all about it right you can read what is biting right now what you should be targeting but let me tell you something it feels even better when you are the one out there exploring finding honey holes like the one i found today this is my first time ever fishing the spot right it feels even better when you are the one creating the reports think about it i encourage everyone here on this youtube channel to go out and explore and although in this video i did not find fish that are endemic to the pine barrens right I did find a spot that I will continue fishing for years to come that actually produce. All right, I'm about to get out of here because sunset is coming in. It is quite a hike to get out and I don't want to get lost or anything, you know, in the woods. Okay, so thank you very much for watching this video. Tie lines, folks, and as always, take it easy. Solo blitz, huh? Oh my goodness, first cast on the side, fish just hit like a train freight, bro. Oh my goodness.